Hi everyone, this is Frederick from Custom Cones USA. Today, I'm gonna to show you the new Hummingbird PR1 pre-roll filling machine that uses centrifugal force to create a perfectly packed pre-roll. We're gonna look at the machine itself, the parts it comes with, how to pack your pre-rolls with it, and how to keep it clean to ensure it keeps working properly. Let's get started. First thing to know about the Hummingbird PR1 is that it is unlike most other pre-roll filling machines in that it does not use a vibration motor or even a bounce motor to help pack pre-rolls. Instead, the Hummingbird uses an innovative centrifugal force motor that is designed to put higher density material near the crutch for support, lower density material near the tip for ease and lighting, and smooth density gradient in between to help create a more consistently burning pre-roll. So how does it work? Let's take a look. First, the Hummingbird PR1 comes with the base unit, the rotor that goes inside, four buckets, one power cord, and an Allen wrench to help put it together, an injector tool, and one five-piece fill kit. First, make sure your Hummingbird is level, using a bubble level, as unwanted vibration caused from a surface that is not level could not only lead to less than perfect pre-rolls, but could also damage the machine. Next, install your rotor. Silver side down, it should slide in easily, but you may need to use the Allen wrench to loosen and then re-tighten the mounting screw. Once the rotor is installed, install the four black buckets on the rotor and we're ready to start packing. First, you'll need to grab the pod that fits the size of pre-roll you're planning to fill. They are all color-coded, so the green pods, for example, fit 84 millimeter cones. Those fit about half a gram of flour. The blue pods support 109 mm cones that hold a full gram and red pods support 98 millimeter cones for a pre-roll of about 0.7 grams. Load your cones into their color-coded pod by simply dropping them into place. You'll see that they stick up a little bit from the top of the pod, but that's where we're including the setting tool and tamper tool. Tamping is the key to ensure that each cone is seated at the same height allowing for accurate volumetric fill. Using the included tamper, carefully align the indexing key to the rear of the pod and gently push it down. Be careful so no cones are damaged during the process. Hold it tight against its rails, and once they're in, push it down and give it a bit of a wiggle to ensure the cones are set in deeply. Next, use a small scale to tear your cone-filled pods for pre-filled weight. It's important to establish the tear weight now with the cones loaded so that when we weigh again after, for compliance purposes, we'll be weighing just the flour that was added. Now we're ready to begin filling. But before we begin filling our cones, just a reminder that you're gonna to want to grind and sift your cannabis to ensure a consistent particle size that is free of chunky bits like stems that could damage your pre-roll cone. The industrial grinder and quick sift commercial sifter, for example, will help you perfectly prepare your flour before beginning the filling process. To fill your hummingbird pods, simply scoop up some of the ground flour and spread it across the top of the pod, being careful to make sure that you get the flour across every hole at the top. Tap the sides of the pod to help tamp down the flour in each slot until the ground flour is level across the top. Now weigh your pod again to get the amount of material in each cone. For example, there are 30 slots in the 84 millimeter pod, which hold half a gram. So you're gonna want your pod to weigh 15 grams. If you're overweight, grab one of the height trays from the Hummingbird's fill kit, labeled lowest, low, medium, high, and higher, and place the pod on top. This will push out excess material that you can scrape off of the top. Weigh your pod using lower trays from the filling kit each time until you hit your goal weight. Again, for the 84 millimeter half gram pods, this will be 15 grams. This is for calibration purposes only. So if you are using the same grind for your flour and the same cones, once you find the right tray, you can skip this step. Using the tray that worked best for your goal weight in that pod, though, if you change your grind, it is worth going through this process again. Next, place the pod in the rotor inside the machine. For smaller sized pods like the ones for 70 mm and 84 mm cones, you'll need to add a puck to the bottom of the bucket before dropping in the pot. This will give it a little extra height and make it easier to remove when you're done. Just repeat this process for all the pods that you have filled with cones. But, and this is important, you'll need to use an even number of pods at a time in order to keep the rotor balanced, 
whether you are filling cones in that pod or not. Now we're ready. Close the lid on the machine and flip the switch on the side to turn it on. You'll hear the machine lock the lid in place and you won't be able to open it until you press the open button or you are done with the cycle. Then click start. The Hummingbird's default setting is 2000 RPM for 15 seconds. As you can hear, it is very quiet for a machine this size and that's on purpose. The Hummingbird team worked really hard to keep the noise down. 15 seconds is generally speaking all the time you'll need. However, for larger cones or tubes, you may need to increase the speed a little to perhaps around 2100 to 2400 RPM. When it's done, the machine will beep and unlock automatically and you can open the machine and remove the pod. As you can see, the pods are really packed in now. So you'll need to grab the ejector tool, which is the one with all of the pins sticking up, set the pod on top and use a slight rocking motion and the cones will pop right out. The beauty of this is that the cones are now perfectly packed. Check this out. There's no need to tamp. You can also see from the scale that the weights are now very accurate. The Hummingbird works just as well filling tubes as it does cones, but there are a few changes in the process. First, make sure you grab a tube pod. This one has space to hold tubes that are 11 millimeters wide, like our two gram blunt tubes. Pods for every tube size are currently in the works. The main difference with these is that you're gonna wanna load the tubes through the bottom of the pod, and it's recommended to keep the paper in the tube to provide structure as you load it into the pod. When you're done, snap on the magnetic plate at the bottom and pull the paper cylinders out of the top of the pod, and then fill like you would any other pod, except make sure you fill these to the top. After loading your blunt pods into the Hummingbird in a balanced configuration, Configuration, it's recommended that you crank the speed to 2400 RPM to get a tighter pack. We also recommend refilling the pods with flour and running a second cycle in the machine in order to get them filled to the top. But as you can see, the tubes have the same consistent pack as the cones. It's also possible to get customized pods so you can fill whatever size and shape pre-roll your company makes. Now, you're gonna wanna make sure you maintain this machine properly. So once each day, be sure to remove the buckets and clean inside and out with a lint-free cloth and a food-grade sanitizing solution or solvent like isopropyl alcohol. Also use this time to inspect the inside of the machine and clear out any loose material. The outside can also be wiped down with isopropyl alcohol or food grade sanitizer. As for the pods, they can be soaked to get clean and are also dishwasher safe. But don't use a heated drying cycle with your Hummingbird pods as they may work. Once a week, be sure to remove all the pod buckets and even the rotor to inspect for debris and any excess material. Pay special attention to the mounting point for the rotor and remove debris from the screw mount. Then once each month, we recommend removing all of the parts and inspecting them for damage. And that's the Hummingbird PR1 pre-roll machine. It's versatile, accurate machine that is able to pack cones and tubes of any size. At $15,000, it's an excellent middle ground machine for a company that is looking to scale up from smaller tabletop units like the King Cone, but are not quite ready yet for fully automated pre-roll machine. If you have any questions at all or want a virtual demo, contact the pre-roll experts at customconesusa.com and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.